Gaming news is crazy. It's time. It's time. So let's talk about it. Wrap up of IGN Expo's event number two. I'm trying to keep up here with everything going on. Everything's going crazy. So I'm just going to give you my thoughts and opinions and just rapid fire succession of what they brought to the table with the IGN Summer of Gaming event number two. They started off the gaming event with 13, a full game remaster. 13 is a first person shooter where you play as said and so 13, a talented soldier who lost his memory and been accused of killing the President of United States. You first first wake up injured on an aesthetic on Burning Beach with only the clue of being a small key in a mystery tattoo. Then, as you play, it's your job to search for answers to 34 levels of solo campaign. Don't worry, you'll find the appropriate weapon arsenal along the way with questions and missings and dodging bullets. It's a remaster. It's coming back. I played it as I was little, and I never really got to fully understand and enjoy the story as I am now mature and played many games, so I can't wait for that nostalgia. <clears throat> After they showed off 13, they opened it up with four closed. And actually, the funny thing about it was my first impressions when I was looking at the game is that it looked exactly like 13, but in third person. First closed is a cyberpunk action shooter set in the comic book world. The fight against dehumanized accuracy or bum karate, I don't know what that means. Um, bureaucracy that took your identity and you unleash the power of your implants and you fight for your freedom. It features an interactive graphic novel, all original story, high tech combat, non stop interaction, farmware upgrades. If you're into cyberpunk, uh, the genre, or actually cyberpunk 2077, <laughs> liberated, or even the legendary disc Deuce X, you might get a kick out of lib uh, foreclosed. I almost call it liberated. Sheesh, where am I at, man? Then they showed off Iron Oath. The Iron Oath is a turn-based tactical RPG set in a medieval fantasy world, and as the leader of a mercenary to accompany you, you will recruit, manage, and embark on perilous missions in order to build your company's renown. The decisions you'll face carry weight as they can minor or major influence the characters in the world around them. After the gears and the time of you progressing through the game, it changes dynamically, embracing new storylines, missions with unique experiences through every playthrough that you have. It features in-depth management, unique characters, and character development, land in a dynamic overworld, time progression, tactical turn-based combat, and your decisions do matter in this game. I have a unique interest with this game as there's a Spock that I want to try it and it's something that I might have to pick up and give it a go. However, with many games out and there's only so much time to play, I don't know if I have enough to give it the old fair one. After that, it was Blanco's Block Party, which we're going to go over that further along in this video. Uh, and then it was Stronghold Warlords. September 29th is when this game comes out. Stronghold Warlords is, a, is Firefly's first game to recreate the castle economies of the Far East. And the Warlords, you command the Mongol hordes and Imperial Warlords and also the Samurai Clansmen. You lay siege to Japanese castles and fortified Chinese cities. Besiege historical warlords under the new gunpowder-fueled siege weapons, classic units, and completely new way to play Stronghold. It features relive. It features to relive the historical campaigns, recruit the new allies, come in and conquer the lands, and become the greatest lord that there ever lived. And honestly, I didn't really feel much interest in this game. It may hit the itch for the fans of this genre, but it certainly isn't for me. After that, they brought in Spellbreak. Spellbreak is an epic fantasy action spellcasting game where players fight to become an all-powerful battle mage. We have spectacular spell combinations, craft strategic builds, and master your environment as you dominate the Hollow Lands, solo or with friends, in a non-stop quest for survival. In short, it's a battle royal game, and they're really trying to make cross-platform and cross-progression a thing that's like the thing of all things guys they are trying to mandate this we need to support that after that they brought into a samurai jack battle through time gameplay and interview you become samurai jack the greatest warrior of all time journeying through the joining through time to finally stop Anaku's evil reign in this new adventure told by the creators of said Samurai Jack. Featuring words for worlds from the award-winning series, classic and modern episodes, and an all-new untold story that ties into the series' finale. 
Equip different weapons, gain new skills, and as you play through the epic journey. Samurai Jack was a cartoon that I used to watch as a kid, um, and then I realized they did a reimagining of Samurai Jack, and guess what? I haven't watched it, and you know what? I think I should. So I might have to check that out and then see if Samurai Jack Battle Through Time catches my interest. The gameplay did look good. Star Renegades came up right afterwards and it's a strategy RPG outsmarting AI driven anniversaries, forging friendships and toppling galactic, galactic empires spanning over multiple generations. It features outwitting your foes in the new fast paced reactive time battle system, unique enemies and bosses evolve as you continue to advance in the game's story, unlocking dozens of alternate characters to use squad members and create bonds as a huge rpg fan and adding sci-fi with that rpg watching the gameplay it definitely looks right up my alley it looks great i need to see more and maybe i need to play it then they showed off four closed again with some interview and gameplay and honestly i think i've seen uh, a little bit too much and i don't know how i feel after that we want we want we got brought back into Blanco's Black Party, which is why I wanted to talk about this after because they had a party dev an interview and honestly with the Blanco's Park party there's not a lot of information all we know is it's an MMO set in a vibrant online world style like a giant block party with a focus on custom art and design you can build with world building you can explore you can trade you can collect unique blancos and the better's coming this summer and it's going to be free to play after that, they opened up with a competitive RPG that's almost like Pokemon, or at least that's what they compared it to, called Bravery of Network Online. Bravery Network Online is a turn-based battle game that has you in the future of Toronto competing in the ultimate sport, Bravery. Technology has made resources security a thing of the past, and the citizens now battle each other to stay plugged in. Featuring a full-fleshed-out roster of characters, variety of moves, traits, and strategies, small groups of single-player stories exploring Toronto is also in the future with a battle system ranking it for pvp lovers in competition pretty cool it actually does look pretty interesting in my opinion as i was watching the gameplay kind of i'm a fan of the turn base and since they compared it to pokemon and the art style actually looks weird and i like weird after that spellbreak caught an interview and he didn't really say much they just showed some gameplay and then he said a free skin is uh, now available however it's limited and then they finally ended the Summer of Gaming event with an exclusive trailer, and it was revealed to be Nickelodeon Cot Racers 2 Grand Prix. Fingers crossed it's a better game than the original, with the, it has, uh, they boast with new racers, new characters, online multiplayer, and maybe more. I hope this one can redeem the series from the previous. Anyway, guys, make sure you smash that like, hit that subscribe button. I'm Husky Puppy here over at NGI, where we cover the latest in gaming tech news and reviews. God bless him, peace. This is not good. I've fallen into my own trap. Alert! Jones, do you read me? Use the scope, I'll cover you. Come on! Alpha to the burger. Suspicious individuals. Agents alert, get ready, he's on his way.